Hello everybody and welcome back to Experience Ships and Coffee Breaks with Cece. I'm just gonna put my cup down real quick. Um, but this is the place for you looking to explore careers. Every week we upload new career uh, advice on this channel, so make sure you subscribe and turn on the little bell so that you get a notification every time we upload something new. However, this video is about a remote summer internships. We're in the middle of the July, you probably started your summer internship already, but we still wanted to provide you guys some tips and tricks on how you can champion and survive and thrive in your internship placement. But first, uh, before we do that, I just wanted to speak a little bit a little bit about this spring that we've lived through. It's been uh, incredibly hard for a lot of students uh, having their internships canceled due to COVID-19 and having to reapply and find a remote placement. But for you guys who have managed to find a remote summer internship, congratulations. You like, awesome job, awesome job, like applause. I'm having the phone here, but I'm, I'm applauding you guys uh, because it hasn't been easy for any of us in a professional sense or in any sense. It's been a really tough spring. So if you've managed, great job. If you haven't managed, that's fine. You'll get them next time, I promise. But however, working remotely is completely different than working um, in the traditional office landscape. Um, so I just wanted to give you guys some tips on how you can manage it while you are there in your remote internship. Um, and an internship can be hard to get through, but a remote one, as I mentioned, can be even harder. So yeah, here are my top tips on how you can um, survive, but also thrive in your remote internship. So first of all, You've heard this one before, but I'm gonna keep nagging you until you understand. Uh, but it is, it is to commit to connect. Um, maybe not so much, well, it is in a digital, digital way. I was gonna say it's not in a digital way, but it is definitely in a digital way uh, in a remote internship. Make sure you connect with your uh, teammates on LinkedIn, but also make sure that you connect with them, uh, not only in meetings, um, but also invite them for a virtual coffee, like we're doing now, you know? It's the easiest way to get to know anybody from a distance, um, because it's easy that you get caught up in just having your communications in like a work scenery, uh, but it's important to have those casual chats as well. So, and um, don't expect this to come from your teammates, from your coworkers, because this is probably gonna be you having to show initiative for these things because people are busy. Um, but if you sh say like, hey, I wanna get to know you better, let's have a coffee on Zoom uh, on Friday at three, I'm sure they gotta say yes. And this also you know, helps you make an impression on the people you're working with and showing some initiative. So commit to connect, I can't say it enough. Um, but uh, another thing that's really important when you're working remotely is uh, or to remember to not overdo it. You shouldn't underdo it. You shouldn't be lazy and be like, ah, I'll work from bed today. Well, you can do that as long as you get the job done. But, um, but you know, don't chill too much. <laughs> it can be difficult. Um, sometimes when you, once you crawl down into bed and you turn on Netflix instead. Uh, however, um, but don't overdo it either. For instance, um, some of you ambitious folks out there might think like, oh, but I'm saving this time, uh, this hour in the morning because I'm not taking the bus to work or I'm not taking the car to work um, and I'm saving that time in the, in the afternoon because I don't need to go, you know, all the way back home. Um, so I can work in those hours and I can be more efficient. But just because you're working longer hours doesn't mean you're being efficient. Um, so, you know, take, um, you know, manage your time well and you know uh, finish your tasks on their deadline and all that but don't you know push in more work into your day than you have to just because you happen to have some spare time because you don't have to travel to your workplace so that's really important um and also to take breaks 
you don't have that natural you know you don't walk around you don't have a uh, you don't ha go out for lunch you don't you know walk into meetings you don't have those water cooler conversations like make sure you take your breaks you stand up from your desk and you stretch because our bodies are not made to sit in front of a computer screen all day so you're gonna get tired and your body's gonna hate you so make sure that you take time out in the day to um, stand up and stretch and maybe go for a walk um, and get some fresh air because um, we need to love our bodies when working remotely um, so don't overdo it but do it right man like Remember that you are gaining work experience in a time when a lot of other students uh, are not able to. Make sure you honor and respect this opportunity by making the most of it. Uh, I have no doubt you will, but I just wanted to, you know, put some emphasis on it. And also remote work comes with a lot of responsibility and trust. Make sure you show that you understand this. Um, to your supervisor or to your employer um, that you're like show them that you're reliable show um, showing up on zoom meetings on time come prepared be you know be prepared to present what you've been doing lately and be ready to answer questions and make sure you speak up even though you're not in the same room as everyone else and put your ideas forward it can be really hard to do this in zoom meetings um because it's like oh i mute unmuted my mic and then adam started speaking and then you know and oh shit my camera was off i don't know what you know it can be difficult but you'll get the hang of it it's difficult in the beginning but you'll get the hang of it and you know just um you you'll, you'll learn how to master it um but then you know moving on imagine you've done your internship it's the end of the summer it's you know the end of august beginning of september so when you're going back to school you're like okay cool did it check it's on my resume i'm done no no uh uh now it's time for reflection. Um, there are several tools you can do this with. You can find, I put some examples in the blog post. You can find the link down below. Um, but uh, make sure you reflect on your experience somehow. So you can either do this, you know, just take a mental note uh, on your, you know, sit down for 10 minutes and just whew, think about it. But I also recommend you put some bullet points down on a piece of paper, on your phone, I don't know, in, in, on your laptop, wherever you keep your notes. Um, excuse me. Um, so that you have something to revisit later. And it also makes it a lot clearer to you, like what you've accomplished, what, what didn't go well, what you can improve in the future, etc. And if you find the time to do this with your supervisor or your mentor that has been guiding you through your internship, even better, because having their, their reflections on, on your work also improves um, your reflection and, you know, having their words can, you know, have you improve for your next internship experience so wow this video is so long i don't I'm, I'm blabbering too much sorry guys um i'm gonna wrap this up now these were my tips um if you just want to review them fast you can also go to the blog post where i put everything down in writing and that was it from this week i hope you guys enjoy your summers even though even if you're interning if you're working if you're chilling in the sun doesn't matter i hope you have a great summer and i'll see you guys next week for a new video don't forget to subscribe if you want to take uh you know take part in more uh, career exploration advice. Uh, okay, bye.